Kiorana uh, friends, uh, it's been a long time since I had a chance to uh, try and make a video. Uh, what you're seeing here is an aircrete block. This is a um, uh, pure aircrete uh, cast directly um, in a form. And I think this is the, uh, the direction that I, I plan to go. Um, a few little details here. You'll see that the edges are uh, cast fairly accurately you know within uh, there's a little bit of damage there on the side but the overall flatness is quite good um, I put a lot of effort into trying to get the mold such that the uh, these four sides are good um, what I found is that uh, one way to join pieces of aircrete together that's very very easy to do is uh, believe it or not paint uh, there might be a better uh, solution than paint, um, and I'll do a little bit of work trying to find some alternatives, but uh, paint really uh, adheres well, and if you have edges um, that are um, nice and flat and mate up well together, it doesn't take very much paint to stick two pieces of aircrete together uh, very, very well. Then what you do is you cover the outside edge with um, uh, polypropylene uh, mesh and you paint that on and you end up with a structure that's light and very strong um, and uh, fairly tough and incredibly cheap. This has about maybe 10 cents worth of cement in it. Um, uh, obviously, uh, uh, the materials cost is not everything that it takes, but uh, you know, still 10 cents worth of materials to make a brick. That's uh, that's uh, not bad. Um, and you know, the material is very easy to work with, so it does. It's you can do uh, you can do a lot of bricks with a very small amount of labor. Anyway, um, uh, I know it's been an awful long time, so I wanted to just post something, give you an idea what I'm I'm playing with here. Um, uh, these are far from perfect and I have a lot of work to do to figure out a way to crank these out in volume um, and uh, I think that they will be pretty good for my purpose which is uh, my purpose is to be able to make semi-permanent structures quickly, easily, cheaply um, and, and <coughs> excuse me <coughs> structures that uh, they won't rot uh, or get blown away too easily by a breeze. Um, so, uh, well, there you have it. An aircrete block. This, by the way, is 4 inches by 8 inches by 8 inches. Well, thanks for watching. Um, based on how my life is going, it might be a little while before I make the next video. But uh, I hope this gave you some ideas to where I'm headed. After all my previous exper uh, experiments, I was fairly pleased with how this came out. Thanks for watching.